Hit the... Yeah, there you go. Oh. You need to kick your leg out for balance. You're not going to get the strap done. Oh, watch the paint. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. All right, guys. So, crunch time for LS Fest. Donnie leaves in a few hours. And guess what? There's still no transmission in this car. But guess what? There is now a roll cage in this car. So, Ben, over here freaking crushed it this weekend we brought donnie up here with no trans in it and he threw a cage in this thing and it looks so cool so we got door bars now we got a main hoop with the cross i mean dude this is legit so he he did this in what about two and a half days uh i'd say three days three days and then you know the seats and all that were yeah another day. and the seat fits way better i'm now way lower to the ground and have actual harnesses and a door bar for tandems and real competition stuff. Yeah, he killed this thing it. is legit, man. Dude, you did such a great job. So, uh, guys, we're going to shove Donnie in the shop right now. Transmission from RPM Transmissions. Overnighted freaking express delivery transmission and diff should be here in a few. And then we got some axles, all sorts of good stuff that we'll be opening here in just a minute. Oh, the shyster. Shyster. Woo! First use. Oh, I realized the horn works. Yeah, and he's an S, so it says Shyster. Big news, everyone. Driving with the handbrake on, I like it. It's my guy. Dave's gonna wear this thing out in two months. You already pretty much destroyed it. George, how you feeling today? I'm feeling fantastic, man. Yeah, you. Feeling better than that e-brake right now. I kind of miss struggling getting him off the trailer, though. Put him down, you can him off the ground. That'd be perfect. RPM transmission's just coming in clutch, man. I tell you what. You can tell that's for a C5 right there. Look at that unit, dude. The shyster out here making moves for the business. Ah, yes. Some G-Force performance axles. So I figured, guys, while we got our boy Donnie part, might as well put some G-Forces in her. Because, uh, you know, I gotta say, I've been pretty impressed with their axles in Leroy. These things are beefy, and uh, the ones that are in Donnie have already had leaks in their boot and spray grease all over the place. So we are gonna drop the subframe, pull that there transmission out, swap it out for what's on the pallet over there. Did you break the original ones, or was it just time to upgrade regardless? Time to upgrade. I didn't know if they broke when the diff broke, or? No, they're fine, but uh, they, like one of them's got a torn boot, so there's grease. Oh, wow. oh, they're renegades. Oh yeah, that's a pretty beefy axle. Those are beef dogs right there, dude. <laughs> so, all right, we're throwing these in Donnie, as well as, I think we have a shifter over in the other shop we gotta grab, too. We're going drifting with the shyster. But moving a pallet full of wheels and tires oh. for your drift car. Right, oh. Touchy. And then throw yourself into the lift. Oh yeah, there you go. All right. All them Nitto G2s. Nitto brother. All right, guys, check it out. This is Donnie's new transmission diff. And I want to give a huge thank you to RPM Transmissions because they literally got this done so quickly and it looks so nice. This is a stage four built transmission and a stage two built rear diff. It's not built all the way, like, you know, something we'd have in Leroy, but it should hold up to what we're doing. I hope so, at least. Just with the options that we had for such a quick turnaround, this isn't the you know most serious built transmission ever, but I think it'll hold up pretty well. I mean, we're gonna find out regardless, but RPM Transmissions, man, what a great group of dudes hooking us up, getting Donnie back on the road for LS Fest and uh, just pumped up. So we are going to fill this thing up with some fluid, pop some sensors into it, put the uh, diff mount on it, some other things and throw it in the car. It's almost like they saw you get Donnie and started gathering parts. They probably did, man. They were probably like, oh man. They probably did. They're All so right, ahead of it. Good stuff going. <laughs> yeah, and you'll see guys, this has the brace on it that uh, Donnie's last one was missing and that's why the diff snapped off. So this one should be good. So guys, it's uh, safe to say, I don't think this axle had a lot of time left in it. In fact, it's already dislocated just from us removing it from the car. So it was pretty shot. Oh, there it goes, it's back in now. I'm really glad we called G-Force and uh, made something happen because that would have sucked. Dude, this thing is crusty. This thing is crusty, boys. Is it still in gear now? Oh yeah, she's in gear still. So the transmission's actually fine. It's just the 
Output shaft's broke. The new unit though, she's too fresh, too nice. Just uh, putting the shift linkage on. We gotta put some sensors and stuff in. Just ate some lunch, so we're ready to rip. Knock this thing out. Send it on its way today. Double tap. Ready to rip? It's ready to go in. We got all our sensors in. Boom, boom, bing. We're ready to go. We're about to shove it up in there and make it happen. I stepped in the diff fluid. Ooh. Don't forget the shifting arm. Yeah. yeah. One of them auto mad one of them manual deals. You need an auto in this thing. What? Let me put the power glide in there. Too. Yeah. That's the real question. Drifting power glide did? Think anyone's ever tried that? I'm sure somebody's done it. Alrighty boys, the axles are in the subframe. Cleaned it up a little bit just to make her look a little bit nicer and we're about to uh, pop it up there and push them in the diff. I feel bad using the Galaxy. Let's go over to James' car. He doesn't have a hood or a trunk. I don't scratch my paint. All right guys, in this box, use the extreme sweat. The air in here is more stale than some of the food at in the back of your mother's pantry. Still. Really worked for that one. This is an MGW shifter, same shifter we use in Leroy. I know these things are awesome because I love the one in Leroy. So we hit up the guys at MGW. And they said it's a really sweet shifter setup and they even did a little something custom for us. Oh, it's gonna be right here. Yeah, there's the meat and potatoes. Let's see that thing. Check this out. Pretty dirty now. Yep. Before it even gets installed. It threw the logo. Dang. Freaking shifter knob, dude. So the shifter in there was a little bit loose and uh, this should fix that up. Is there a fresh transmission in this thing, guys? Donnie got his first oil change since we got him. Goodness. Also, set of spark plugs. Wow. It's all new. Man. New shifter and axles. There you go. Almost, how could I feel? Like I know, dude, I don't know. I kind of should have just checked before. I was like, you know what, this tire's probably spent. Dude, it's insane how long these G2s last. These Nitto G2s last so freaking long, so I took those off. I brought brand new ones over here thinking these ones were spent, but take them to LS Fest these like that. Scrubbing tires oh, you know what? I'll use these for it. my freaking burnout contest. There you go. Perfect. Look at my headroom now. You do have a lot of headroom. Dude, my helmet was pinned before, and now I got yeah, all the room. You could probably see better without the Should roof be. line being in your way. I know, I'm like, <laughs> all right, this <laughs> First fire up. could do that. Yeah, I wonder why that trans broke. It would take freaking <laughs> 75 turns. No other car in the fleet that could make that turn. We were just thinking that. <laughs> Ruby would have been a 150 point turn. It smells like... Is there an exhaust leak? Do you hear an exhaust leak? It's burning stuff off the exhaust. Oh, it's from our hands. Oil, down. hand grease, and brake fluid. Feel like you're in a C5? I do feel like I'm in a C5. Solid, brother. I got hit with a shrapnel. I think we're good. Yeah, seemed pretty good. It's fun the tires, folks. I'm no drift expert, but it seemed like you drifted. The clutch feels a little freaking shot in this thing. I, this is probably going to be the last weekend the clutch survives. I don't know. Yeah. Perfect, because we are just in a perfect situation to do it. <laughs> kinda, yeah. <laughs> we are 80% there. I kind of forgot to mention it, but. We are 80% there. You want to pull it around again? Like oh yeah, we're going on the other trail. Yeah. Like, we're literally loading this thing right now for LS Fest. Yep. Fingers crossed, folks. Fingers crossed, boys and girls. Oh, hydro test. Oh, yeah, it's not hot. I forgot these pads, you have to heat them up. Man, there's a lot of drift car knowledge you're going to learn, Coop, when your car is. Coming closer to completion. So many random things. 
old Donnie is in the trailer. Everything felt good on him. We got a bunch of tires, a bunch of wheels. And I invited my good friend, old Jeremy. And he is bringing the Caprice out. Hell yeah. So Jeremy's hopping in the trailer. We, uh, we leased a two car trailer from uh, our transport guys. Get some help. And uh, we're just we're just gonna go have the freaking best time ever. All right. Tight squeeze. Yes, sir. Got a big berth in there, brother. Well, you're gonna have to make some room up front, to fit all your tires. Actually, I think. I oh yeah, anything. you you put them in the car. Yeah, I got six in the car. Oh, perfect. All right. Bye, Donnie. Bye, Uncle Sam. See you guys at LS Fest. All right, guys. Well, it was a huge rush to get this done. I want to give a big thank you to RPM Transmissions, G-Force Axles, MGW Shifters. They really all came together and last minute got some parts. And Donnie is uh, as ready as I think he can be. He's off to the big leagues now, boys. So probably going to get our butts whooped, but we're going to have a hell of a time up there at LS Fest. And, uh, and if you guys are going, just so you know, you can only get tickets online. But... See you out there. Thanks for watching. Do it for the old freaking. See you later.